Hello and welcome, my name is Matthias and in today's video I will be explaining to you how to send very efficient and smart Excel shortcut keys from Power Automate Desktop to an Excel file. It'll look like something like this. So that was a little bit quick but what the flow did was that it took a file that looked where the formatting of the columns were very off and then we auto adjusted the column width with, um, and then we made a pivot table into it so it's easy for us to analyze the data itself. Being a professional business analyst myself, I use Excel hours on end every day and that also means that I have within my fingertips a lot of very efficient shortcut keys that I use basically whenever I get my hands on Excel files. Um, that I will be showing you how to use also today. So hopefully there will also be a bit of nice tricks learned. Um, so stick around until the end. Um, and if you have any questions, please, uh, please let me know. Uh, before we start doing anything, we can close this down because we'll start from the beginning. We will create a new flow. Let's call it Excel shortcut keys. And then what I also like to do is just to open up paint and just write down what it is that we're going to be doing. Also for you as the viewer to understand if you only want to learn how to adjust or adjust the column width, or you only want to understand how to send shortcut keys that makes you makes your data into a pivot table or any other of the things that we're going to be going through. It'll be a little, a little bit easier for you to also find the sections of the video that you want to see. So what we want to do in brief is that we want to uh, open Excel file. Then we want to uh, adjust column width. I think that's how you spell it. Uh, and then you want to, uh, then we want to make a pivot table. And then we want to save file. That's it. You could uh, go beyond. You could save the file. Uh, and then take it up and send it in an email to whoever your manager or whatever. Um, you could do more formatting on the files uh, itself before you save it. But for now, we'll just we'll do those two shortcut keys um, and then we'll save the file and then we can see it happen in action. So those are the steps. Uh, with that said, let's uh, let's get started. I just want to make sure that the test that we're going to be using it on looks bad. So that's fine. Um, so what we want to be doing first is that we want to launch Excel as an action uh, and not with a blank document but the following document that we need to make reference to and we'll do that by finding the file and then just right clicking it and say copy as path so then you have the folder, so folder path the only thing you have to be careful of is that you remove the quotation marks otherwise I'm pretty sure that it doesn't work um, with that, we can launch it just to see that it works. And you can see that it opens here. Um, so what we want to be doing now is that we want to introduce the recorder functionality uh, and simply just let Power Automate Desktop record the functions or the, the keys that we're sending to the file uh, by itself. It's way easier and way faster. So we'll do that. Um, and then we'll just paste it over here and click record. So what we want to do now is that we want to place ourselves anywhere within all of this data. So now the data is very structured, even though you can barely see it, there's data within all the rows in column A, there's data within all, all rows here in column B, and there's something in here uh, in column C also. So it's very structured data, even though the formatting looks off because the width is, is, um, uh, is strange. But that is what we're going to be fixing now. So what we, what we will be doing is that we can just reference this cell, any cell within, that's fine. And then from here, without touching the mouse, we will be very efficient with our keyboard by just sending them, uh, sending commands uh, to the file. So first of all, we'll be doing control A, which will mark everything. Um, and then from here, we want to adjust the column width. And there's, a, it's a little bit of a sequence, but it's, it's a nice sequence to know um, and we do we do that by by having marked everything and then pressing Alt 
H, O, and I. And then it's nice and, nice and structured. Um, from here, what we wanted to do, which I also wrote down in my paint, uh, was that we wanted to make a pivot table. And there's also a shortcut uh, functionality for that. We can just piggyback on the fact that we now already have everything marked um, and then just send the key alt n v enter enter and that's it that means that it creates a pivot table and then we just said enter enter by saying yes this is the uh, this is the data range and we want to make it into a new sheet so now you can see that there's also in the bottom here it's sheet number two and then there's a blank uh, empty pivot table and that's it so now we can press done and it'll take all of these auto generated things and put it into um, uh, put it into power automate and then for some odd reason it this always happens so it pushes the launching of it in the bottom so we have to drag that up so the sequence is that we launch it then we send all of these keys and then we want to close it again so we find the action close Excel and we want to save the document. We already, we don't need to save it as anything because we already have it. So we'll just save it as it is. So we'll do that. And then personal preference is whenever we do stuff like this, it, it oftentimes, now this is a simple flow. So there's not that many actions and there's nothing after this, but you could easily make a very complex flow um, and just for housekeeping purposes, you could maybe say uh, that there would be a, a reason for you to create a subflow. So let's just do that. And then we'll just call the shop, shop the subflow for short, short cut keys. And then within this, if we go back to the main flow, we will take all of these things or actions and then just drag it into here. So now in the main flow, we have launch Excel, close Excel, and then we're just missing a, one important thing, which is a flow, it's called subflow, run subflow. So here we just wanna put that in between saying we want to run the subflow of shortcut keys. So now it looks easier on the eyes also. Now we launch the Excel file then we run this flow, all of this, and then we will close the Excel, Excel file. That's it. So if we save this, go back to the folder. I just want to make sure we make it back into an ugly scenario where it looks like this as an example. We'll save it, close it, and then let's see if this works. So there's an added wait two seconds in between each keystroke. It's not required, but it's fine for now. Then it's also a little bit easier to follow through or follow along. And that was it. So now if we go into the folder and have a look, we can see the data is nice and structured and there's a pivot tip. And that was it for this video. I will see you again in the next one.